let's go to Capitol Hill now, where a battle is heating up over the speaker's seat. NBC's Sahil Kapoor joins us from Capitol Hill. I know you were just in with a group of reporters as Kevin McCarthy spoke. What did he have to say? That's right, Chris. Well, one thing McCarthy said in this uh, gaggle with reporters moments ago was that he has not cut any side deal with President Biden on the issue of Ukraine aid, trying to rebut one of the main accusations that Congressman Matt Gates has been making as a, as a basis for removing him from the speakership. Now, Gates, uh, Gates still has not triggered that motion to vacate, although he indicates it could be coming later on this week. He maintains that it's unacceptable for Speaker McCarthy to rely on Democratic votes to fund the government as he did in that shocking turnaround over the weekend. Gates won't guarantee that he has the votes to remove McCarthy as speaker. He also doesn't say who should be speaker when he was pressed about it. He only says it wouldn't be him. Gates has uh, maintained that he'd be willing to go up to as many as 15 ballots to remove McCarthy as speaker, echoing the number of ballots that it took for him to become speaker in the first place. McCarthy has dialed up his pushback on Gates. Uh, he's not taking this lying down anymore. And he and Gates have had a bit of a war of words lately. Let's play what those two have said. I'm pointing to specific things that Kevin agreed to that he hasn't complied with. He's just trying to subjugate his real and significant breaches of our agreement as some sort of personal dispute. But that says more about him than it says about what we're trying to do to change Washington. I'm just, I'm just going to focus on doing the work I'm supposed to do. Uh, I think this is a, a question to the institution itself. I know in the past the other leaders together <coughs> believed that this should never be in play. But I'm not worried about it. Now, Chris, the first question for Matt Gates is whether he has at least five Republican votes to remove Speaker McCarthy. Without that, all of this is moot. And McCarthy wouldn't respond when I asked him just a moment ago whether he's confident that Gates doesn't have those five votes. The second question, if Gates does muster at least five Republican votes, is what did Democrats do? They could have a crucial role here. There are discussions happening among Democrats as to whether they should entertain the idea of bailing out Speaker McCarthy, either by voting against Gates' motion or by voting present, which would essentially lower the threshold and allow McCarthy to continue uh, with fewer numbers of Republican votes. At, at the end of the day, Chris, this all comes as Congress has six and a half weeks to fund the government after that short-term deal. What we saw this weekend, as difficult it was, as it was, that was the easy part. What comes next in the appropriations battle, it's going to be much tougher, and it looks like we may have a speaker's battle on our hands while all of that happens. Chris.